All right, here's a clip of uh, former guest on the program, Marcia Baradaran. Um, I guess she was on, what, like two years ago? Two or three years ago? She's been on uh, TMBS more recently. And um, here she's on MSNBC talking about the uh, wealth inequality and, and, and racial wealth inequality in particular. I mean, if you recall, the biggest... The biggest source uh, source of of wealth building is real estate, and on this program, very easy to find interviews with people who outline how the U.S. government, systemically, as recently as uh, the '50s, prevented black people from building wealth intergenerational wealth through real estate. The government actively promoted this. Subsequent to that, you had redlining, you had more, but it, it weren't necessarily official government policy. Certainly in the context of the, um, the 2008 financial crisis, many low-income people were, um, were basically defrauded by given loans by banks, and I will remind you, there's a reason why they call them loan officers, because they have a fiduciary duty. They are there to assess whether or not someone can repay a loan. And um, a lot of people lost their homes. Here she is on... Uh, MSNBC with Ali Velshi basically saying, um, you know, the limits of capitalism in terms of fixing this w widening racial inequality in terms of uh, economics. These programs fail because the benefits of capitalism always accrue to the owners of the capital, not to the people living in enterprise zones or promise zones. Using capitalism to fix the racial wealth gap will work only if there's a means to transfer capital, assets, wealth, or housing. What's the practical application of that? How does that actually apply to policies that we're developing now? Yeah, so, I mean, what we've done for, um, you know, 30 or 40 years, when we're talking about these formerly redlined areas, that again, I want to repeat, were created by federal mortgage policy. Um, all that we've done is give tax cuts and incentives. So from the Clinton era, through Obama, and now Trump's Opportunity Zones program, where we're saying, okay, big investors, private equity firms, we will give you a tax cut if you come and invest in this formerly redlined area, what we call an Opportunity Zone. Um, so what it means is, if you're going to be an investor, and then you can, you know, make the the, the neighborhood better revitalize it or whatever, you're going to get the, the equity, right? right? So the best case scenario is that the people that live there maybe get jobs and things like that. But when we're talking about the racial wealth gap, we need equity. So you need a, a neighborhood that's gentrifying for the people who live in that neighborhood to get a cut of that um, increased equity. Right, As because often that happens, doesn't happen, right? Often it, they're, they're either exactly. renters or there's no way to monetize the benefits of gentrification because it's your house. There you have it. Um, let's go to the